Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noding. Um, in this episode, um, I'm going to kind of talk about some kind of uh, like a simple algorithm. Um, this is something that um, might actually be used for uh, traffic light. So I have this um, drawing, like a doodle, made using grease pencil. And currently it's doing something that's uh, like um, normal traffic light uh, do normally. Like uh, it goes like from red to green and then stop for a few seconds and then switch to orange and uh, or yellow and then back to red and it's kind of looping it like over and over again. Um, I also can easily change the, the pattern of the light. Like um, if I change this using the one at the bottom, this one's gonna be like uh, just switching on and off with a bit of delay, I think. Um, I can control the speed and the delay of each one of them. So yeah, uh, so yeah, this is like a normal like a traffic light. How did I do this? This this is basically um, the fact that you can um, access the the color uh, stroke and fill color for a grease pencil. And I have basically uh, four different color palettes here. One is for the, the base and then we have red, yellow, and green. And I'm controlling them using Sphere Chalk. You can also use animation nodes, but I'm using Sphere Chalk in this case. So basically this is what happening at, at the very, very um, basic level. The setup is like this. We are using this formula node, just quickly access the grease pencil data, goes into the palettes, and then select all the colors, all these uh, palette colors and stroke um, and then just grab here I'm just grabbing the one with color dot 001 002 003 and then for for the fill color I'm using this uh, red yellow or green which is um, kind of like switching on and off based on a vector lerp here so it's either black or colored so this is what happening with traffic light of course it can be made up uh, can be more um, precise but this is basically the algorithm I can basically uh, say for random color uh, or just generate random color for example I can do it like this um, RGB HSV maybe um, or I can use random vector actually random vector just three colors and then plug it into this guy and randomize the C so I can have like super random um, traffic light color like a party like party traffic light. I can actually, if I'm not wrong, I can simply uh, draw, oops, maybe not in this case. I need to go to the first frame of grease pencil and then draw something using this color. And it should basically like still kind of doing the whatever it's doing before. Or maybe I was wrong. Um, oh yeah, still working. And we can also just randomize it using this color and random number, three number, three random number and floating value plug into the hue. And yeah, something like that, very funky, or just back to normal, uh, what I did here. So yeah, I think this is kind of um, interesting and fun exercise. In the future, the grease pencil data block might change and each one of the, I think each one of the stroke might be able to have each own color. I don't know how uh, it's going to work. Um, but this is kind of interesting. Um, yeah. And then I want to explain this algorithm, um, especially with a, with a red, yellow and green thing. So, so red and then switch, it's going to switch to green and then switch to the next one and then back to red and then so on, so on. It's like a loop, right? The algorithm, um, the recipe looks something like this. Uh, you can do it in many different way. Like you can create pattern uh, for each like uh, uh, each object here. But I'm actually using this uh, this pattern right here. So basically, number two represents green, number one represents yellow, and number zero is red. How long it's gonna be on the red, and then it's gonna loop over and over again based on um, this setup. So there's a frame number. I can actually speed up um, this uh, 
see this is like much speed up I can slow it down and there is this modulo that's basically repeating this pattern and for this pattern it's kind of doing this uh, logic is it equal to zero is it equal to one or equal to two if it's uh, equal one of these change the color uh, based on that and the color setup I have here is basically either black like I said this is either black or red this one's either black or yellow this is black either black or green and it's doing um, all it needs to do just using this factor the same thing if I'm uh, with the other one basically it's just a uh, with the other one I'm just using sine wave so it's kind of blinking blinking in a very nice like fade in fade out um, yeah there's nothing much to it other than that and of course um, this traffic light is just made of grease pencil but you can easily like a model like a 3d looking traffic light and then applying this algorithm uh, for that object it shouldn't be too hard to just make modifications um, yeah, but what's interesting here, of course, I'm using the formula nodes just to grab any kind of data a little bit faster than actually using a lot of uh, a lot of nodes. So this is also kind of possible and interesting. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this uh, live coding. Let me know what you think. Um, if you have anything to add, let me know as well. Thanks again. I'll see you next time. Bye.